the red planet. Unmistakably, Mars. For centuries, we've looked to Mars for company, for signs of life. Could there be extraterrestrial life here? Are we ready to rewrite the history books, to tear up the science books, to turn our world upside down? What happens next could change everything. Mars is the planet that most captures our imagination. Think of B-movies, sci-fi comics, what follows? Martians. It's all just fiction, right? But what if there really is something here? Hard to imagine, though. Up close, this is a dead planet. The activity that makes the Earth livable shut down millions of years ago here. Red and dead, Mars is a giant fossil. Wait, something is alive. A dust devil, a big one, bigger than the biggest twisters back home. There's wind here, and where there's wind, there's air. Could that air sustain extraterrestrial life? It's too thin for us to breathe. And there's no ozone layer. Nothing to protect us against the sun's ultraviolet rays. There is water, but frigid temperatures keep it in a constant deep freeze. It's hard to believe anything could live here. Back on Earth, there are creatures that survive in extreme cold, heat, even in the deepest ocean trenches. It's as though life is a virus. It adapts, spreads. Maybe that's what we're doing right now, carrying the virus of life across the universe. Even in the most extreme conditions, life usually finds a way. But on a dead planet, with no way to replenish its soil, no heat to melt its frozen water. All this dust, it's hard to see where we're going. Olympus Mons, named after the home of the Greek gods, a vast, ancient volcano, three times higher than Everest. There's no sign of activity. Since its discovery in the 1970s, it's been declared extinct. Hang on. These look like lava flows, but any sign of lava should be long gone, obliterated by meteorite craters, unless... This monster isn't dead, just sleeping. There could be magma flowing beneath the crust right now, building up, waiting to be unleashed. Volcanic activity could be melting frozen water in the soil, pumping gases into the atmosphere, recycling minerals and nutrients, creating all the conditions needed for life. This makes the Grand Canyon look like a crack in the sidewalk. Endless desolation, so fast, it would stretch all the way across North America. But here, signs of activity, erosion, and what looks like dried up riverbeds. Maybe volcanic activity melted ice in the soil, sending water gushing through this canyon. Underground volcanoes could still be melting ice, creating water. And where there's water, there could be life.
the hunt for life is spearheaded by this humble fellow, the NASA rover Opportunity. It's finding evidence that these barren plains were once ancient lakes or oceans that could have harbored life. Look at those gullies. Probes orbiting Mars keep spotting new ones. More proof that Mars is alive and kicking. That water is flowing beneath its surface right now. Water that could be sustaining Martian life. Now all we have to do is find it. Maybe we've already found what we're looking for on Earth. Some think that life started here and then migrated to Earth. An asteroid impact could have blasted fragments of Mars, complete with tiny microbes, out into space and onto the young Earth where they sowed the seeds of life. No wonder we find Mars fascinating. This could be our ancestral home. It could be we are all Martians. The Mars we thought we knew is gone, replaced by this new active changing planet. And if we don't know Mars, our next door neighbor, how can we imagine what surprises lie ahead?